Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE My Rise video. This time, we're gonna have a look at the men's uh, My Rise uh, division. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get right into this thing. Thing, as you can see, Alice Anderson, she is all done. She is over 96, and uh, yeah, as you can see, she got well over 600,000 fans. So yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the men's My Rise. Okay, being that there's no sound, and it's probably due to uh, copyright, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that... what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Stick up for the security guard, blame the security guard. Man, I, I, I can't let this dude lose his job, I mean... Technically, he did the right thing. He let me in, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Yeah, that didn't Hi, sound all kinds of wrong. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Freaking Todd. Turn it off, please. All right, so let's see. What kind of background do we want to give my character? Do we want to give him an MMA background, pro athlete, indie, actor? Hmm. You know what? I think we'll go the MMA route. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to create, finish creating my character. And uh, I will see you guys on the other side. <clears throat> you done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. What do you think, uh, uh, guys? Yeah, perfect likeness? Worse. <laughs> so now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... <clears throat> you know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. <clears throat> then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Okay, can we do it without the freaking sexist nonsense? All right, this is, you know, I play these games to get away from all this BS. I'm just saying, bruh. And ladies, how, how, why, why are y'all going to be offended? You know what I mean? That, that y'all are uh, secretaries. I mean, it's a job and it pays. You know what I'm saying? It's so, like, who gives a shit? As long as you got a job and it pays, that should be all that matters. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. And by the way, that outfit they put my dude in, I mean, that, that 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 just wasn't it, Chief. I don't know where you got that get up from. That just wasn't it. That ain't my style. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. See, thanks. Don't call me new guy. Uh, we 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 going to play nice cuz we are the new guy. We going to start out as a baby face, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. I'm excited to get going, especially since I heard you started last week. It started here at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. Bro, I know what, what, what uh, football is, you know what I mean? I, 
You know what I'm saying? Se habla español. Mi el mexicano. Alright? Bruh. Mi chicano. Okay? I'm just saying. See, soccer is for the week. I chose MMA. I played soccer when I was a kid, but there wasn't enough punching. So eventually I got into MMA. There was a lot more punching. So why make the switch from MMA to wrestling? Fun fact, I didn't play soccer till I was already a man. I'm just saying. <clears throat> I didn't play well with others. Uh, looking for a new challenge. I love fighting. But I got burned out with the long training camps and only getting to fight a couple times a year. Plus, I wanted a new challenge. So I started training for this a few months back and WWE took notice. That's good. But don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard or harder than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that. And I respect everything the WWE superstars do. Inside and outside the ring. And I know I can do the same thing, if not better. That's a high bar to set. But good luck. Hey, who are you? Hmm. Should I respond with, who are you? Or, nice to meet you in person? Nah, I'm gonna go with the, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? No. I'm Paragon J. Pierce. The biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. That, that bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was busy training and fighting in MMA at the highest level in the world. So you're an MMA fighter, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come in our sport thinking, it's gonna be easy. But you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm going to take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever MMA promotion you were cut from. Uh, let's see. I have a lot to learn. You're all talk. You remind me of a lot of the guys I fought against. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to face me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah. Yeah. In a wrestling ring. Which you have very little experience in. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. Yeah, I'll show you who the real rookie is, my guy. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee? Thanks. Ah, he, he, he was nice. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be nice, too. Thanks. You a big MMA fan? No, not really. I just love that viral video of the fight where you got knocked out in like two seconds. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'm actually crossing over from another sport too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. So WWE 2K20 is canon. Oh, boy. So you deserve to be here. So you're a Lawler's charity case. Nah, we, we, we still gonna be nice. Even though he, he mentioned a video where I got knocked out in two seconds, supposedly. You know, but like, what else? We, we still gonna play nice. Even if Lawler helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign something for me before you leave today? Uh, you think I won't be here long? Sure. I'm gonna kill him with kindness. Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, and you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. See you out there, Jason. So let's see here. Uh, Rick Albright, MMA. 
Is that a real dude? So yeah, approach your WWE training the, the same way you did MMA and you'll be a huge success. Be the aggressor and call out the biggest name in the room to show them you mean business. So thanks coach, but don't know if that's how things work around here. Might what? Might be start might be start to keep my head down. Oh, might be smart. I don't know why. It looked like it says start for a reason. Anyway, it might be smart to keep my head down, get a feel for things before I make any big moves. More of a counterattack approach. I'm not really your coach anymore, so it's your call how to handle yourself. Good luck. And let's see, do I make the baby face choice by saying I'm going to earn everyone's respect? Or do I go the heel route and say I don't care who I upset? Uh, we, we, we stay in baby face, so. Say, I've always respected your opinion, but I'm the outsider here. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and earn everyone's respect the hard way. Yep, that's, that, that's the, the right thing to do. I'm just saying. Being that we are the new recruit. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it <coughs> is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed. It goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. <clears throat> yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, <laughs> now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right. New guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. <clears throat> Yo, respect to Road Dog for putting Paragon in his damn place, making him know his damn role. Let's go. So let's see. Who do I want to face? Paragon, Jay Pierce, Chase, Hector Flores. You know what? We're, we, we're going to face Paragon because he's been running his mouse. For far too long. So let's go. Okay. Let's get started. Let's go. Oh. Oh, hell no. Oh, shit. Uh-uh. No! Get off! 20 minutes later. No! Get your ass up! You gonna treat me like no punk. Punk. Oh yeah. Uh uh. I'm gonna stretch your ass on out. Tap ya, bitch. There ya go. Ya wrote a po. <laughs> and we is a baby face. And let me check. Can I? Yes, I got the points. Before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not going to give 100% in a training match against a nobody. Excuses, excuses. Let's see. You shouldn't be here. Classic excuse. Is that what you're going to tell Triple H? Ooh! <clears throat> I shouldn't be here either. I think I'm going to go with, is that what you're going to tell Triple H? Cool. Is that what you're going to tell Triple H? 
because he probably won an explanation for why the hottest free agent <coughs> signing since AJ Styles just lost to a nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. The coaches just say that to scare you rookies. You think so? Because I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped butt. Oh, <laughs> facts. Face me when it really <clears throat> counts, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> You serious? It's gonna be the same result. Here's the thing. I think it already did, and we saw what happened. But I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime. Hey, big news. We got another member of DX coming to help out for a bit at the PC. Ooh, X Pac perhaps? Hornswoggle? <laughs> uh no. One of the members <coughs> of the best version of DX, X Pac. Told y'all. Saw it coming. I mean, Billy Gunn's not in the game, so I mean, it should be a given. Uh, your version was the best. Original DX was the best. <laughs> Checked out the original DX was the best. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna stay face. You know, I have to agree that the DX you were a part of was the best one. Damn straight it was. But you know who disagrees? Shawn Michaels. Oh, maybe I should have chose the other one. Oh, well. You guys took what they started and made it 10 times better. That's what I always say. Anyway, what if when X-Pac is here, we had a <clears> match <throat> to settle this debate? You, me, and X-Pac against Sean, Hector, and Chase. Hey, that could be fire. See, that sounds awesome. I'm going to pass. No, that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. And if we win, I get to be an honorary member of DX? Let's not go crazy. Oh yeah, well, to you too, Road Dog. <clears throat> Come on, HBK. Here, let me help you up. Oh snap! Oh dang, HBK got Texas, uh, the uh, state of Texas tattooed on one calf. I don't know what that other tattoo is. Not sure if I want to know. It looks like a penguin from far away. But I know that's not what it is. <clears throat> what the hell, Chase? You little scumbag. Try this again. Come on, Sean. Damn it. Come on. Yes. Battle of DX, and I better be an honorary member after that. Heard new guy um, JV at PC comes from MMA. I've seen the future where I tapped him out. Really, Koshida, is that how you feel? Let's see here. Let me read the full message. Oh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Didn't really have to click on it. Oh, future. There's no time like the present. Come to the PC and face me now. <clears throat> you know I started in MMA. Oh, oh, the thing moved on me. Uh, so you know I started in MMA, right? Undefeated record. So now you're talking about the past. <clears throat> like I said, all that matters is now. Come back up. Come back up your talk. Hell yeah. Say, you, you don't know what you're getting yourself into, Kushida. Uh, not scared. Submission match. Let's see who taps. Deal. Let's do this. Yeah, Jay Brown. 
It's a deal. Can't break your MMA undefeated streak, but I can break your arm. Time will tell. Wish I could see this, but I already know the outcome. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, Kushida's the Back to the Future guy, huh? He's the wannabe Marty McFly or some shit. Great Scott, Marty. This imposter is going to get his arm broke. Oh, the... Oh, I'm definitely keeping that move in my arsenal. That's the Scott Hall fallaway slam, baby. Tap. Tap. Look at that. Come on now. Come on now. Time will tell. And, well, time is... And time is telling, you know what I'm saying, that I, I just whooped that dude's ass. Tango una gran oportunidad para ti. That's Spanish for I got a big opportunity for you. Yeah, my Spanish is not the best, but I'm pretty sure that's not what that meant. Ignoring your terrible Spanish for a second, what's the opportunity? WWE was contacted to send a PC student to El Mago's retirement show in Mexico. Mm. They actually requested Hector, but for some reason he doesn't want to do it. So if you're interested, we'll have a triple threat between you, Paragon, and Chase to decide who will go to face El Mago's son, El Mago Jr., at the event. Interesting. Book my flight. I'd rather focus on my training here. Reservar mi vuelo, which means book my flight. Reservar mi vuelo. You heard the man. Let's go. I only looked up that one sentence, so I'll take your word for it. So yeah, tana, amenos. You know what I mean? No que no. Rapido, rapido. I so had him. Get your ass off me. You get in there. And you. Stay down. Were you trying to do this? <laughs> Dumb shit. On the wrap. Oh. Come on. Come on. Tap you bitch. Thank you. Good luck against El Mago Jr. in Mexico. I hope you beat him. That's the plan. I've been meaning to ask. Why didn't you want to go? Yeah, um, just wasn't feeling it. It would have been a chance <clears throat> for you to compete in your home country. And you're probably a fan of El Mago, right? I was, but he wasn't a fan of me. That's all I can really say. Just go get the win over Mago Jr. Ah, uh, there, there, there's something there, isn't there? Okay. So El Mago just got word that JV69 uh, will face my son El Mago Jr. at my retirement show. Going to be a lucha fantastica. Let's do this. Uh, won't let you down, Padre. Uh, voy a ah shit. Uh, voy a ganar portai. Si. Eres el mejor uh, hijo. I'm probably, I probably got all that all kinds of wrong. And yes, yes, y'all. There it is. My official attire. And why is my goatee bright as green? Not okay. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that. What the hell, 2K? Yeah, that is just all kinds of wrong, man. You got me looking like the Joker. Only I got the green hair in my face and not on my head. Okay, I'm going to end this quick. Cause I am not liking what they did in my face. You didn't butcher my girl at all, but you had to go and butcher me. I see how you is, 2K. So El Mago's retirement show will be a great a great stopping point. I think we got a lot in. So yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying the mail my rise so far. Um, I was until they, they freaking glitched my goatee. So I'm going to go ahead and see if 
maybe I have to go and take my dude back to uh, the appearance and go get him fixed up. And then I'm going to fix his entrance and everything. So we should be good to go by next video. So until then, it is your boy, Jason JV. Saying, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below. And uh, yeah, till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right, peace.